Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Xiaomi Emilia PW66 with Android. So let's begin here immediately. We have the GloryFit app that we will use today. You can see we already downloaded. We have here the email and password if you have. You can uh, get an email or where you can log in with third party. I'm going to press ignore which uh, you can enter in this way without an account but it's better for your data if you have an account you can see I'm just passing these information you have to fill up these uh, carefully with your own personal information so you get more accurate data as you can see immediately we have four pages down below the third page which is select device press it and you can see it starts searching so let's wait until it will find our kw66 like this press it and now they should be connecting you can see connected successfully we have kw66 in the uh, phone also we have the pairing sign at the watch so this is all that it takes to connect it so let's begin here immediately you can see we have the steps and the weather for today you can see target steps we have the steps number day week month or year statistic daily step average total distance and consummation as well we have target for steps distance and heart rate here heart rate data down below you can see the statistic and we have the average minimum maximum and a couple of other data down below after heart rate we will find sleep day week month and year st statistic for sleep you can see the average deep sleep light sleep etc at the second page we have the sports running outdoor walking and riding these three options uh, request a gps so you can see we have the history as well if you press go it will begin the sport that you select you can see for now it's sciencing so it doesn't let us continue with the sport we have here the motion settings you can see voice broadcast we have other options as well at the third page where we saw the connection you can see right the first option we have the dial center which we can change the face of the watch as you can see we have plenty of them let's choose this one press download and see how it downloads so basically whatever you choose it will start to download slowly it will take a couple of uh, minutes probably one to two minutes it depends a little bit on your wi-fi as well after that immediately it will synchronize with the watch and you will have a brand new face it's very easy to do so you can do this plenty times a day if you want to change that many times the face watch which is always a good thing you can see the brightness is all the way up we can barely see the face but we know that it changes after that we have the heart rate monitoring you can see auto test we have call reminder we have to allow for calls to remind us so we can reject the calls and we can see where the, the, uh, who calls we have the sms reminder as well we have push notification we have to allow notification in the settings after that we can select all the apps that we want to notify us i'm just going to select a couple of uh, the apps that i usually use after that we will find sanitary reminder you can see you can customize the timing we have next the smart alarm clock raise hand to activate do not disturb universal settings you can you can see shake to take photo find bracelet uni unit on time screen etc we have the fireware update clear data and unbind at the bottom at the fourth page we have the profile you can see all the personal information we have the goals for steps target steps we have weekly report, third party access, background, uh, ex activity permissions, system, etc. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.